plaque tailored. Uh, Corbatellin A. Did you get that one? Oh, yep, noted. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thanks. And that would be a great time to see another octopus. Yes. Please. Time to manifest. Oh. Let's get some burgers for tonight, too. <laughs> yeah. I think it is burger night. <laughs> oh, is it? It is Friday. That. Friday? It is Friday. Might be. I'll be disappointed if it's not. I don't know. It's usually a weekend day. I wouldn't say it's always Fridays, is it? That would be surprising. Maybe. I think Coralie said it was. Data Lab, Nev. I think we're well, we Oh, really and then one more ice cream, ice cream Sunday. One more ice cream Sunday. I'm very excited for that. Me too. <laughs> I'm going to try it for real this time. Split peas? Yeah. I do not want another split pea. I am sprung. I think we've moved on to canned tomatoes also. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. canned tomatoes. Yep. <laughs> Stewed tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, iNaturalist, and there's another Merlin bird ID. Does anybody know what that oh. is? Nice. I don't, but um, there are a lot of yeah great great apps out these days to help with identification. Uh, Seek is the app through iNaturalist that helps you with um, IDs. Mm. I have a friend who's an ornithologist, so sometimes I take pictures of birds and I send them to her, and she tells me what they are. <laughs> Your personal. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks, Nina. Yeah, these apps are great because they're like having a lot of friends who uh, <laughs> <laughs> who can help you with IDs. Thanks, chat. I'll definitely. Um, be checking out, let me just call it out, Night Sky app, iNaturalist, the Merlin Bird ID. Oh, and then Starry Night is the other star software for telescopes. Nice. Cool. Ships are a horrible thing for uh, <laughs> telescopes, though. <so. laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to be seasick. <laughs> Oh, and we have our um, ROV question. Um, so how does the presence of our ROV affect water, sediment, wildlife, etc.? Um, we try to have a minimal impact. So uh, most animals will actually avoid us because the ROV is very loud. Um, from what I understand, the light is overall not harmful to deep sea life. Um, we will occasionally uh, disrupt the sediment, as you may see from time to time. But again, this is minimal. Um, sometimes at Atlanta, just, you know, naturally. Kick some dirt. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just got to get in all the... Uh, Atlanta the flies quietly <laughs> up above. Sometimes. <laughs> the smear campaign is not work. <laughs> Herc makes a lot of noise. Yeah. And a lot of uh, dust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the truth comes out. I think the, watch. the thing that seems to disturb the animals the most is the, the water movement, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which we can't help as a large... Yeah. Object. Pushing a lot of a lot of uh, water ahead of us. Beyond the, just the, the thrusters, just moving a, a big 
like a, you know, sheet of plywood through the water. It's not made out of plywood, but it's like, it's like that kind of size. You also have the tether kind of whipping up and down a lot of the time, so sending out wavelengths, it's pressure kinda, waves. Yeah, and in terms of sampling, we try to take as little as possible. Uh, we'll take, like, cuttings if we can. We try to have as little of an impact as possible while uh, doing good science and getting enough information that we can, you know, do something with our data. Um, a lot of corals are very, very similar morphologically, and um, we'll need to sequence the DNA in order to distinguish different um, genera and species. Thank you so much. Um, all right, one moment. <laughs> Time to move. Bridge now. Time to move. Let's do five zero meters, zero yeah. two. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Bold. <laughs> so far that's worked pretty well to like cue some interesting thing that we need to stop the show for. <laughs> for all of our viewers tuning in, thank you so much. Thank you for um, your words of encouragement, and thank you for uh, just being here as we explore together. Um, you folks have been awesome. It's been great um, relaying your questions and reading uh, your comments and thoughts. In my language, for title Lavo. I strongly believe Adam was um paying fish to come every half an hour and <laughs> honestly the octopus. like for real the urchin <laughs> king was using his influence <laughs> yeah he just talks so much <laughs> like you don't realize it <laughs> until <laughs> so much silence <laughs> uh, we miss adam He's still on the ship. Adam's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, is, Adam fine. is fine, chat. <laughs> Adam so wasn't yeah, kicked Argus out. Are fine. He's, he's hanging out with Argus. At yeah. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think one of the earlier um, statements, I, I don't think, I think the more we say, oh, Argus is okay, I don't think they believe us anymore. Correct. Because <laughs> right. chat is like, but is Argus really okay? <laughs> no. Argus is fine. Ar <laughs> 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 On uh, feed three chat, that is Argus. Argus <laughs> is to fine. Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, thank you. Zoom in to Argus next day. <laughs> this is not the most Argus flattering is angle. Argus okay. oh, He's going full zoom. <laughs> full zoom. <laughs> As you can see on satellite feed three, Argus is protected. Yes. Safely tucked in. Safely the yellow tucked crane in. Is looking a over Argus. Aww. <laughs> Has a blankie and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, is Argus Adam is there? fine. <laughs> it's actually hiding. Tent fort. Yeah. <laughs> By the power of Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we can also showcase that, unfortunately, Deck Frog is not all right. <gasps> deck Frog is. Deck Frog. What? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, the Deck Chief. <laughs> so, for viewers at home, the Deck Frog is uh, the two fenders there, are the eyes, <laughs> and usually there's a mouth. <laughs> deck Science. <laughs> okay. That was a good interlude. Back to the science. Back to the science. The deck spiders are okay too. The, the what? deck spiders? Yeah. The what? ones that have the orange suits. 
Oh, oh. the deck spiders. I was yeah, gonna say all, what? They're all they're all sleeping. Deck spiders. Deck spiders, you know Nick those Bane. little guys <laughs> that run around in the green or in the orange vests. They got all excited when um, Kirk is on the board. Blue heads and oh. Yeah, the little blue hats. Orange thoraxes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not amused. <laughs> I uh, I choose a different terminology than spider. <laughs> <laughs> what terminology do you choose? Deck personnel. Uh, <laughs> well, that's boring. Does not like spiders. <laughs> Deck shark. Deck sharks. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, a poppy poppies. Zoom in, Dave. Actually, no, that's not Papi Papi, sorry. That is a sea pen. Penatula. Uh, very good view. <coughs> we good? We're good. Thanks. We do have our viewers tuning in. What are your plans after the expedition or the cruise? Well, chat, a lot of us will be uh, hanging around for a couple of days. Um, some of us will be uh, returning home um, early um, for other responsibilities as well. But a few of us will be staying back to, to our Hawaii and spend time with our family and friends on Honolulu. Yeah, I'll be spending a few days in Honolulu, um, hiking, <laughs> swimming, <laughs> eating mostly. And Getting our land starting legs starting again. A new position when I return to Massachusetts, back to real life. Mm -hmm. Playing volleyball, the MCZ or the Invertebrate department has a volleyball team. Oh, that's cool. Lots of legs. <laughs> Wait, name? do they have teams? Yeah. What are the names? We we compete actually. Um, let me let me find the Is it a league? I don't even know. I think you should read it, Annie. <laughs> I know what you're laughing at. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why? I know. I was. I was. I'm. I'm just debating. <laughs> I, we have a viewer. Adam's not asleep. Yeah. <laughs> like. We, uh, you should call Mike Burns the deck chipmunk, since he is dashing in and out of holes and corners and scurrying all over the place. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, who's who's right into the chat from the van? <laughs> Maybe it's, it's TJ. Huh? No, that's Adam. He's he's not uh -huh. sleeping. He's downstairs <laughs> trolling us. <laughs> yeah. 
Adam, come up here and do your job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be away. Probably, probably laughing at us right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. <deck> chipmunk. <laughs> that's a new deck, one. That's a new deck one. I'm sure chipmunk. you've been called a lot. But <laughs> I, I've been called things. <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> you you need to worry if you see me dash down one of the hatches and come up a different hatch. That's true. <laughs> then there's a problem. Then you're teleporting. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge nav. My superpowers have come true. Sea pig. We could do another three zero meters. Or actually, let's do five zero meters. Zero two five. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I got nothing for that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. nothing. Final watch. <laughs> I've, I think, run out of steam. Yeah. I've, I've run out of things to say. We're definitely uh, a little slower moving in the morning, but this one's particularly This one's rough. particularly bad. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? Look at all this stuff I'm going to share this. one of my last data log entries for my team. <gasps> yes, please. Okay. Okay, I, I don't feel, do you have like a otter's uh, lecture voice, Jules? Do you want to read it? A what? Like oh. a very serious oh, voice yeah, to portray. Okay, hold on. This has to be correctly portrayed. All right. Okay, here we go, it's this one. As Hercules illuminates into the vast darkness of encrusted <laughs> slabs with a compacted sediment, the team wonders when we will be able to spot life as very little <laughs> biodiversity in sight is documented. <laughs> Holothurian sighting. <exciting. laughs> <laughs> These are your data log entries. <laughs> it's funny how you just cut to Holothurian <laughs> sighting. <laughs> and then we saw one. I was like, oh, okay. We saw it. We saw <laughs> something. But I really like how you write, though. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> Thanks, so captivating. Mama. I would want to read it. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. I appreciate that. <laughs> I hope that those make it into the dive report <laughs> summary. Oh, me too. So, so that in the future, someone's reading it. Goes, what was? <laughs> what were these people doing? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know even. Oh, okay. So, um, so when we recover Hercules with the samples, um, what happens? Uh, who is in charge of? Um, Unloading the samples, please. We oh. have chat asking. I can answer that. So, uh, the science team, we're going to do a, a team effort there. And when we are on the transit back, we're going to start packing everything on Ziploc bags and make sure everything doesn't spill because a lot of the samples, most of them are cons conserved in ethanol. And then when we get back on port, we're going to get the boxes that they have on storage to ship everything right. back to their respective carrier places. crab carrier crab yeah thank you paula of course thanks paula wow yeah oh is that oh, a giant man. claw yeah <laughs> oh, oh wow. my Whoa. god it looks like crushed by the anemone. Yeah, this seems proportions here are a little off. Hmm. It just looks worn out. Maybe that's what it wants you to think. Yeah, yeah, true. This main Adam's going to show up soon. <laughs> right? <laughs> His sentinel. It's come to deliver a message. Dur, dur, dur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one. Oh, is this a, um, what are they called? Heart urchin? Common name? Hmm. But common, mean, common names mean nothing. Let's see what we've got. I will look through the guide. Interesting. Those 
spines look almost soft versus rigid. Right. Mm. Oh, they kind of do. What are the white? Are those barnacle? Um, the white? Hmm. Huh. Could be. Where are the echinoderms? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a very interesting looking yeah. one. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Um. <laughs> Should we bridge nav? Should we sample it? Sampling? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Let's take it Ooh home. Ooh 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 Hole position. Where's it gonna live? Uh, mm, MCC. Just <laughs> <laughs> gonna live on the robot. With me. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the starboard bio box F <laughs> available. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, D one, and then the forward bio box is all open. So, what do you prefer? You asking me? Oh yeah, you have both have forward an ones. <laughs> of course. Do you have an opinion? <laughs> <laughs> I personally have uh, no preference. Uh, Someone's gonna decide. Leash. If that fits on the I've starboard uh, bio box. D is yeah, the smallest one. altitude of uh, single digits. Mm. And we have the ship back. It might be too late for that. Quick grab. Can we grab it and then put it or uh, move a little bit? Yeah. If you give me a second, I will be more attentive. Yeah, that. Urchin is definitely not in the uh, no the guide. He's a man, Dave. Okay. I do I not even know I the family. At least in the color morph that we're seeing. Um, I might check the Monterey Bay guide. So can we put it up front just so we can? Yep, you can. Go in here. No. Okay. Uh, go for it. Give me a leash. Can we go drawer out? Yep, drawer out. What's underneath uh, it? Sample or tool tray out. Ooh. <laughs> this would be sample 190. Cool. Oh, there it now is. Now this looks like an Do you have time for a rotate or no? Perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. It looks. Huh. It looks dead on Ooh, the inside. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Like something e ate it. It does. Yeah, that's. Either side? I, either side works. Thank you for your contribution to science. Woohoo! Let's go. Hey, drawer closing. Wonderful. Thank you. Perfect. That was interesting, yeah. Didn't look like there were right. guts in there anymore. No, did not. There's no what's in there anymore? Didn't look like there were guts inside anymore. Uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Samantha? Yes. 
Are we going to continue zigzagging to towards waypoint five? Correct. Uh, we are mostly going in a straight line north. Oh, okay, awesome. Slightly northeast. Thank you. Zero two five. <laughs> if you want to include that in your narrative. <laughs> Noted for the small association quotes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to submit my logs afterwards to the small association. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Beautiful. A lot of associates. Paula, I do have a question for you from chat. Do you yeah. be reset? Okay. Um, can yep. you explain what you do, please? Your role? Yeah, of course. Um, so on the on our watch, I am the data logger. So I make sure everything goes on record. So future scientists, when they're looking uh, back on our on our footage, they are able to have and the closest thing to an accurate description <laughs> that right. we can give out. The closest thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for for them to have a guide towards the dive. So I get ideas that the scientists say. I do the attempt to help <laughs> to, to try to ID and learning a lot in the process. And any type of decisions, especially in the navigation team or any engineering situations, I make sure oh, wow. that all goes on record. And is this something you've always wanted to do, being a data logger? A data logger, honestly? Uh, or is this something you were interested in doing? I was interested in learning the operations of right, deep sea exploration right. and being on board and being able to learn directly from the scientists. So. To some extent, this is the best position for that type of opportunity because I am writing everything as they are IDing right, and learning at right. the same time. So I am learning a lot from the process and from them. But yeah, in the future, I want to carry out research in deep sea ecosystem right, and right. ecology. So this is a great opportunity. So you're right next to them. Yeah, exactly. The, okay, perfect. Thank you so yeah. much. It's a great learning opportunity. Still feel, feels surreal. I like, can't believe I'm here. Data lab nav, data lab nav. No data lab. Now this is lounge. Ooh, need I'll something? Lounge. Correct people to answer that are not in the lounge, but can go take a peek. I'm a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to check. What is the coconut sample? Oh, yeah. The what? On our pre In response uh, in animals to deep sea microbes. Oh. Oh, this the paper is, is called Deep Sea Microbes nice. as Tools to Refine the Rules of Innate Immune Pattern Recognition. What is this rock or this sea pen? This is Penatula. Penatula. I 
always wonder if we're going to drag something up from the bottom that's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean bad, like, cursed, or, yeah, like or, it's like, oh, and another predatory tunicate. Like, it's gonna be, you know, oh. the virus next, or the something. Next, next, yeah, the yeah, next the COVID. Next, oh. yeah. Wait, I don't see it. Right oh, there. yeah. I saw it, yeah, it was a big, big tunicate. So this is our, sec our second one. Oh, I see now. <laughs> So I'd just like to shout out over the air a special thank you to Kelly Guarino for um, <laughs> correcting the time of our <laughs> interaction from 4 a.m. to 4.30 a.m., especially <laughs> doing it at 4.01 a.m. You're not on SPL. I wasn't on SPL. For That's now. okay. My dig? No, That's I can say it again. Okay. Say it no, again. No, no, Adam, I was also doing it. a 4 a.m. interaction <laughs> once and then came to watch <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Ooh, look at the thing over there. <laughs> oh, fascinating. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. He's like, retract like the moon pool. <laughs> <laughs> We're on your way. <laughs> Nice claw there, too. It doesn't seem very functional. No. The claw? Yeah. Smash claw. Kind of seems like uh, a magnum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking it looks a little weighed down by the anemone. Mm. Yep. It does look weighed down. I know shallow water crabs, uh. I mean, if that's a thing, they're in the, in the intertidal zone, they use the big claw as a sign of like alpha male. Uh, yeah, again, attract more females, and then when they fight over a female, then they get their claw out, and they start growing a new claw, but a smaller one. So huh. they're the inferior male. Oh, uh, they oh, like lose it and regenerate a new claw. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that can't be the reason down here, because no one can see that claw. <laughs> right. That's a good point. Did you hear? We sampled, well, no, I think the other watch got a coconut. Yep. A coconut? Yeah. A coconut. Like a, a real coconut a or coconut like that sample. weird urchin we uh, saw? <laughs> Possible coconut. Huh. Nice. Okay, finally, fresh fruit. <laughs> 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 Last pack of uh, lychee gummies. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh you know what? Turn the ship around and head for shore. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. Mike has a new nickname from chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder, wonder who came up with that one. Mm -hmm. What is it? I'd love to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, uh, really? I was oh, asleep um, until a few minutes ago. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's what someone who was writing in secretly would say. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, it was so good. Well, it's a deck chipmunk. <laughs> god. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. Because he's dashing in and out of holes and corners and scaring all over the place. <laughs> it was it wasn't Thank me. You. Yeah. Are you sure? Because it sounds uh -huh. like something you Sounds would say. very very similar to a conversation we had the other day. Uh, mm. Wait, he's already <laughs> accused you of being a deck chipmunk? Oh uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, not a chipmunk, I just going in and out of the the holes. The <laughs> we call them hatches. Not oh, well, like a chipmunk. All right, maybe I'm not as much of a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> When you tie the string into the <laughs> squirrely bits <laughs> to hold things down, <laughs> or just knots, bits. knots, never mm. mind, knots. <laughs> you can tie the rope onto itself. <laughs> Honestly, we haven't put the sails up on this boat <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Was there ever, uh, did Alvin ever operate off a sailboat? <laughs> no. Like, uh. Its first mother ship was Lulu. Lulu. Oh, is that the was pontoon? Lulu. Yeah. Aw. Lulu. Lulu. Well, Lulu was a, a catamaran, like, yeah. boat. That, and the, the sub was lowered by chain falls. Oh, wow. It was on a, like a gridded platform, and they lowered it by chain falls into the water. Hmm. And they would, they would launch with a hatch open, and then the, 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 the pilot would stand in the sail and drive the sub away. Oh, my gosh. And apparently, wow. one time... One of the chain falls let go for some reason, and it dumped off of the platform with the hatch open and went all the way to the bottom. And the people had to scramble out, and it went to the bottom and was down there for a year before they recovered. Uh -huh. Alvin was down for a year? Yeah. What? Wow. He got rescued by the Illuminati. What's like the Illuminati? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just Probably. one of them. <laughs> Yeah, and there, that story goes on to say that the the lunch, the, yeah, the ham sandwich in there, they brought it up and it was perfectly preserved. What? And that Wait, was what? one of the reasons that they started to look at the microbiology of the of the deep ocean. Apparently, it was in an anoxic environment. I don't yeah. really remember. Was it in like oh, a yeah, ziplock or something? That. Like, how did it? Yeah, I think it was in a a bag. I mean, it was soggy. <laughs> okay, I was going to ask, did somebody eat it to like, try it out? No, nobody ate it. Okay. It was just, they oh, just it, noted it that it wasn't, it hadn't just rotted away. Wow, oh, okay. interesting. Not that it was like a pristine ham okay. sandwich. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> nobody tried to, nobody even tasted it? So they still to this it. day still serve ham sandwiches peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and apples in the lunch. <laughs> I <laughs> love the lunch. Oh. You gotta tell them to throw in a spam moosebee or two. Oh, oh, that would be good. I think that's the same kind of lunch you would get in jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not, because they also throw in a full-size uh, candy bar. Over the top of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do get, you do get <laughs> a candy bar. Do you <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to keep moving? <laughs> no, no, yeah. wait, not till yeah. we finish the menu. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we go so slow. So, <laughs> I was making my own lunch all the time. Oh. I feel like maybe, Samantha, how far have we gone? <laughs> I was just about to look. <laughs> for better or for worse. Let's see. Five eighty meters in Five. three hours, <laughs> okay. which is oh, but we've been 193. going ninety-three. We've been going up as well. We've so. been going up. Um, what was the bonus question this morning? Oh yeah. Um, if you had three wishes. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was last night. <laughs> we did. We three reprised more it. Three wishes. <laughs> <laughs> three three, three extra, extra wishes. wishes. <laughs> but the genie's free, so you can't wish the genie for them. <laughs> you can just wish and hope that it comes true. I'm putting that genie like back in the bottle. Just like us and for Whale Shark. <laughs> so, it's in honor of our last watch. It's um, We return to shore next week. Um, so, first, it's two questions. So, what will you do when you get to shore? And... Um, what will you miss the most about the cruise? Oh, uh, look at this thing. Oh, oh my whoa, God. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> Giant Holothurian. What? That's what? at least 45 what? centimeters. The world. <laughs> oh. Okay. No way. Time to go That's home. Okay. Holy cucumber. Wow. That's. Okay, we stop the ship. <laughs> All right. Wait, why does it look like that? Over. Wait, wait, I'm confused. It looks so fancy. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Mega uh, Holothurian. How old is that thing? It that's the so biggest one. Like it's just like... Bet you that sea spider like. couldn't eat that thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are we going to try no. and measure it here? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I believe this one can swim really fast. So what species is this? We haven't seen one with such uh -huh. long protrusions. Uh -huh. You're right. Looking at the sea cucumber guide. Same. <laughs> oh, it's like 60 centimeters. Whoa. <laughs> Can we put it on the porch? <laughs> kidding, <laughs> kidding. Yeah, it's like 60, right? Uh, I don't have fine enough control here. This is like the size of a small dog. <laughs> 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 like a chihuahua? No, that's true. Wow. Um, uh, wow. It Highlight. looks like it could be... Um, Benthodites. Wow. Holy. Ooh, that group looks. Oh, That's they all have so spiky what? and non-spiky ones. Huh? What is it? Is it about Dave? Yeah, Benthodites. Bring it back to the SPCA here. in Hawaii and we'll make the Lilo and Stitch movie real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, weird Jules, looking dog. Can you grab me through the chat the ID? Yes. Thank you. You can see how big it is in comparison to Hercules now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. From the <laughs> <Adelanta camera. laughs> <laughs> That's when you know the Hawthorian's really big. See it on Atlanta Cam. I feel like this is the pet that Adam has been waiting for. Why does it have <laughs> horns? Right. Why does it look like that? It looks. It, really it looks, looks like, like a alien. friend. <laughs> Jules, what was the species you thought? Benthodites. 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 It is totally unperturbed by our presence. <laughs> That is huge. A family psychropotidae. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it in the Okeanos guide. Um, I don't think it's going to fit in the slurpose. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> they really it compress. Is <laughs> under Elasipodida. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. At uh, the bottom. Yeah. Wow. Getting some great still cam shots of this thing. Is there, uh, yeah, oh my god, team. yeah. Is there, what's a predator of a sea cucumber? We just saw that. It was a spider crab. Yeah. Oh, really? Sea spider. Sea spider. Sea spider. Sea spider. Oh my god. Sea spider. How big a sea spider do you need for a <laughs> Right? Uh, yeah. I don't think what's we want to find out. crawling over the top of Hercules? Oh, Samantha, <laughs> it looks like that one. Um, It's hard to tell because it looks like the one that's on my screen has... um. Little like tentacles. Little feet yeah. around, um, like little tube feet around the outside, and this mm. one doesn't. Yeah, that's it's more frilled. True. The tentacles, does frilled it help it feed? Here. Did you find the the one next to that one looked more like it? Chat, yeah. the lasers oh. are 10 yeah. centimeters apart. Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Wow, that's massive. Amazing. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It. It's so wrong. Freaky, but beautiful. Unbothered. <laughs> hey, carry on. Well, I can mean, we poke it? <laughs> can we <laughs> poke? Can, no, we no, no, can we just <laughs> hang out <laughs> for a sec? Appreciate the beauty. No, no, we got to Could we put move. the claws are just for, for size. No. No. That no. seems. Oh, we don't have the scale on it either. We got lasers. Yeah. Look at that. Banana oh for scale. Oh my gosh. Okay. It yeah, the wow. silicone shots Purple are great. Banana. It's not its best side though, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. Cool. All right. Carry on. Yeah. Wait. Did the... Is that a wait for ROV? Or no, wait? no, no. It's just the high pack. It seems we have all the contours now. Do, do, do. Right. Yes. Deb fixed it. Whoa. Quite a zoom. 
<laughs> I'd like to see it fly. Is the force field uh, of the cucumber drying us back in? <laughs> <laughs> Can't take off? Those are long tentacles. Okay. See you later, cucumber. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's nice to meet Starting you. To get response out of it. <laughs> I know, I can tell. It was like <laughs> Time to go. We're all waiting. He's like, I'm surrounded by my food. <laughs> <laughs> Left. One hour left. What's on its left? One hour left. Oh, one hour oh, left. You said on Yeah. Well, let's go. Dave, are you counting down the minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Who's counting? Uh, okay. Okay, so I have four gummies left. How should they be Thank distributed? You. you should have a contest. Yeah. What should the contest be? Uh, to cut each one of them in half and uh, uh, distribute them. <laughs> Predict. Let's see. What is a random number generator that we have? Let's predict the tool hydraulic pressure. <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> Wait. How about, how about the time, the next time that we'll see a fish in oh. UTC, which okay. is 2101 right now? And okay. I'll write down the guesses. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say 2112. 2112. Okay. Okay. Are you going to the second or to the minute? <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, the other watch has totally debunked my, my theory about the starboard vertical. No, that's not possible. It was that's so clear. Did. Yes. They don't care. So it it's not true. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> it it might have worked for them, but remember, this is, uh, you know. So it is on right now. Huh. It maybe, was like maybe the valve. It was pretty cut and dry. Right? It was it was like repeatable. Yes. And instantaneous. And they said no. Akanela <laughs> juice. Akanela. So it hasn't bothered us so far, but I. But do we're see shallower. It. Yeah. I'll go with twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Wait. That's. 24. Oh, sorry. 21, 24. Is that what you're thinking? 21, 24. Yeah. Okay. For what? The next time we'll see a fish okay. in UTC time. Oh. I'm going for 21, 19. 21, 19. Closest 21, going 40. Over? Uh, no, not Price is Right rules. <laughs> <laughs> Just closest. <laughs> On uh, which ROV are we able to spot it from? <laughs> yeah, I think you have to say Kirk. 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 I think Kirk, yeah. Oh, Kirk? oh. come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike is playing, but he only gets to see it in a Atlanta cam. <laughs> well, in that case, 2107. But see, oh, wow. I, in I her can camera, Atlanta cam. I in can Atlanta control cam. that, so it's that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you can't control it because we often see it like do a moment before you do okay so we all team rules do we want to look at both cameras or just Herc? i think just Herc. just Herc. except oh. mike who's just playing atlanta. except i'm just playing okay. on atlanta okay no no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can use Herc. uh okay robert dave jules what do you want 2137 2137 2130 2130 robert uh what is the lowest number? No, no. If you weren't paying attention, <laughs> if you weren't paying attention, you don't get to know. <laughs> oh, what is that like on the on the sand? Whoa! What is that? Bottom right. Oh, that's not, not a fish. Not a fish. <laughs> <laughs> bus isn't stopping what? until we find what a fish. What is that? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Huh. Let's go. 
It's got. Oh, is it a crab with a weird zoanthid on it? Is no it? way. No way. No. So, what? Look at it moving. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got an what? assortment. What? Oh. That's just, that looks so what? heavy. Fast. Can Super. we zoom any more? Fast. Alpha crab there. Right? <laughs> Alpha crab. I'm like, oh, you got, okay. you got one anemone on you? Isn't wow. that cute? Oh. What? what? Six <laughs> polyps. Wow. Use it Quite for camouflage. It's blended. Look at the size of his claws. Did that happen? Wow. Oh, that big one. Yeah. I like. Huh? That is fascinating. Do they have like Look pictures, at the or is it just a big club? I think the large <laughs> one is. I don't think it has pinching capabilities. It's just a big club. I think so. That's amazing. So. What is that <laughs> on its back? <laughs> is that <laughs> it a looks multi like several anemones. An anemone? But they all grow together? That I don't weird. know. <laughs> what is happening? Man, all the cool things are showing up now that Adam's here. Steve, <laughs> Steve is suggesting zoanthids. 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 Wow. Oh, that's fascinating. I want to know what the function of the claw thing is. It's, it's not a claw. Not a, <laughs> claw, a claw for <laughs> grabbing? Yeah. Right. What did they use to put food in their mouth? They're like little mandible yeah. thingies. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like a sweeping, like a shovel. Oh, mm. that sounds like a technique. Ew, imagine eating sand. <laughs> I've done it. You've I mean, done it. No, no, but with food. Like if my food, if my food fails, we've falls been, into the sand, then we've I. We've all been eight months is. old at the beach, <laughs> <laughs> just shoving sand in our mouth. Okay, Robert, what's your bet? Uh, I'm twenty-one oh. ten. In case you're wondering. Twenty-one <laughs> forty. Whoa, <laughs> not optimistic. He's just going to call, he's just going to set us down and yeah. point the camera <laughs> into the basket. <laughs> okay, so wait, I have four gummies. Is it one per top four guesses, or we'll two, do another? Whole, two for the You don't get top. the whole nine yards. No, no. I think no, you get one gummy, and then we'll do another more challenge more. for the next one. Okay, so. Well, is it like the like four closest guess? Guesses. I guess so. How about how about two closest guests, and then we'll do the next oh, urchin okay. we see as okay, the next Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, you can get. Okay. What about uh, what's the next animal we want to guess for? Holotarian. 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 I say twenty one oh six fifty six. Twenty one what? Oh six fifty six. There's one right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> next rock. No. Ne next beak whale rostrum. Oh, then it might not happen. Urchin? Mm. Urchin's like no. good ones. I like Colorarian. But they're, oh, they're all over the place. Good. Yeah. Okay. What color? Does it matter? No. no. Okay. <laughs> so what are our bets? For Holothurian? Yeah. We just passed 2109. <laughs> well, reset. 2109. For me. Okay. 2121 for Paola. 21, really? 21. 2110 for Jules. 2110. That's my guess for fish. <laughs> mm. I'm not Maybe there will the be a meat cute at 2110. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm so confident in my fish guess, I'm not even guessing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. I knew he was talking to the fish. <laughs> okay. Team, any. Uh, <laughs> uh, 21. <laughs> 11. 2111. What, what, what are we doing? What is, is this that? next holothurian? We'll see. Oh. Time. Uh oh. What's that? Cool. No, that's coral. There's Just a coral. What do you think, Robert? <laughs> I think the 15. 2115. Halothacus. Uh, 2112. 2112. I'll take 2117. Adam, percentage. you're still abstaining? Oh, I'm out of the running. 21. Chrysogorgia, 11 and 15 seconds. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Here we go. Zoom in, Dave. I'm going to skew the clock towards the end. Stalling. No! Come on! Science is good. 
Science is good. Science we're is good. good. We're good. Let's go. Let's Move go. on. <laughs> wow. This <laughs> Unnecessary zooms. All the way. <laughs> we actually are just going in a circle now to go back to the hall area. <laughs> <As> precisely. <laughs> <laughs> I got very serious. <laughs> Science is good. <laughs> I feel like we're moving kind of slowly. Yeah. yeah. It's on the oh, no. it's so all slow right. All Actually, right. we do need to put in a move. Are you happy or you want to get in front of uh, Atlanta? Yeah, no, you can go. Okay. Do it. Bridge, Nev. It's two five zero meter zero two five. Ooh, large. Oh. Corbitellinae. Yeah, no, that's a nice one. There's a few around here. Yeah. You zoom in, Dave. That won't be necessary. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> Inside, oh, man. way down in there. Can we get the slurp gun out? And <laughs> <laughs> no stops. <laughs> All the way down right, to zoom the when a, when a sponge gets to be, be this age, it, it needs an inspection. <laughs> A spongoscopy. A spongoscopy. Shoot. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so I want to create like a a, la a last data logging on signing out for our team. So I want us I want us to compare our team to something great, something amazing. <laughs> Compare our team to something amazing. Yes. What? Any suggestions? There's no compare. We're too good. <laughs> We're too awesome. <laughs> We're amazing. We're I just mean, too good. Always like a good sports ball team or something. Patriots, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe yes, a retired I'm Tom band. Brady. I know. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic synchronized swimming team. Yep. That's good, I think. <laughs> We're <laughs> we're coordinated. Uh, Jamaican bobsled. Raider Nation. No. Yes. Oh yeah, the Vegas Raiders. Improv Ooh. comedy. Yeah. <laughs> that seems so appropriate, though. What? That, Improv comedy. That, that the Raiders went to Las Vegas. Oh. Like they, that seems like a good match. <laughs> they haven't gone yet. <laughs> they haven't gone yet. And, yeah. the, and the and the A's are going there. Everything from Oakland's moving to Vegas. City Council struck down the uh, the plan for the Tropicana site for the stadium, so they're up in the air as far as a stadium location now. Oh, oh. I think it's I think it's inevitable. Oh, probably, but they build monstrosities of <laughs> you know buildings there all the time. <laughs> It's kind of sad that they were talking about tearing down the trap, though. I like the trap. Do you do any events there? Uh, no, I haven't done any events. I have stayed there. So, Paula, are you looking for, like, a team to compare us to? No, anything. It can be anything. Like, maybe, like, a really like epic that. band that retired. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh. And then got back together for one final tour? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Yes. Like Guns N' Roses? Uh, I was going to say Frankie Valley in the Four Queen. Seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of those band stories ends up with them hating each other. Yeah. Rolling Stones? Rolling Stones. Ends up with them dying. Yeah, that maybe not. <laughs> How about the, the chefs of a five-star Michelin something? You know, that Michelin thing's weird. Like Michelin, Why? one one star Michelin restaurant is a, theoretically like really good. Let's give it a few more stars. What's so? What's like a two star? Michelin? Super really good. <laughs> I oh, don't know. Okay. I don't even know how many stars you can go up to. Three. Let me I think. see. I think three three is the max. Three? I believe so. Just like in Ratatouille. Oh my how about gosh. Like a Tub of jelly beans, like jelly bellies, because three different right. flavors. <sighs> they all complement each other. Mm. You can stick them just all in your mouth to get a, like a. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll pass on that one. <laughs> okay. 
Is that? It's a coral. Which one's the buttered popcorn? <laughs> Do you like that one? <laughs> no. I think licorice is by far the worst jelly yeah. bean flavor. I don't think that's true. Oof. What okay. do you think the worst We thing? have a three-star Michelin star restaurant in Honolulu. Really? What's it called? Ooh. Okay, let's see. One sec. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's La, La Mer, something like that. La Mer. La Mer. La Mer. Oh, sounds French. It's not a skin Okay, favorite. no, sorry. It's the closest thing to us. <laughs> It how is about not a three star Michelin. Star. How about like a really good circus? <laughs> yeah. Cirque du Soleil? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That not represents the, not us. the Ringling Brothers. Yeah, I think a circus is a good comparison. It's Excellent. pretty well, accurate. Oceanography is like uh, a different circus, but the same exactly. clowns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what do we call this thing? Cirque du Soleil. Pin it. Pen yeah. Oh, Steve wrote in that <laughs> yes, if we're gonna. Yes. What I see. It could oh, be a rock. Oh, look, Dorian. Twenty-one fifteen. Twenty-one fifteen oh three. So Robert. <laughs> wait a second. Wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. Your gummy has been delivered. Yeah. Your lychee gummy. <laughs> and the second. No, but do we want to do just one for each, or do you want to do the top two? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> okay, we'll just do one for do each. Do one for each. One yeah. for okay. each, one for each. So now we got to put in another. Uh, what do we want to do for the next one? Um, uh, Are we still in the running for fish? Is there still, still a time? Yeah, we're still waiting for fish. Yeah. Well, Robert put in 2140 for the fish, so <laughs> we <laughs> have to watch. <laughs> What about sponge, starting after this one? <laughs> <laughs> after this one. Uh, what type of, type of sponge, way. maybe? Or how about one of the crabs, homolid hum crabs? Oh, OK. I mean, you don't, mm. since we've been seeing a few. OK, homolid crab guesses. What crab? Homolid. Isn't that what we've been seeing, the little carrier crabs? The carrier crabs, yeah. They're not homolid? crabs. Did you look it up? There's a pretty large holotherian coming up, by the way. Next carrier crab? Yeah. Okay. 2125. 2125. 21.30. 21.30. 21.30. 36. Okay. We're looking for a, a sponge. Carrier crab. Carrier crab. Oh, carrier crab. 21.40. That's what I put down. Oh, you did? I'll well, change We're going to have to share a gummy. No, I'm changing mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same time the fish is supposed to. I know <laughs> the fish is gonna <laughs> swim right so over. So the it. fish is coming. Okay, we've got Robert, Dave, Paula. Ah, uh, Dave's not in yet. Dave's what? I didn't. Did it, was there Did a forty-five already? I didn't guess on the crab yet. I guessed on the crab. There's a forty-five. Oh. Uh, I was the thirty-six. Forty-eight. I was the thirty. Forty-eight. I'm okay. going with 2205. We won't see one by before the end of our watch. <laughs> well, the gummies are going to be gone by then. Wait, are we? Oh, what? It's not no. A if we haven't seen one before the end of the watch, I get one when I get off watch. <laughs> I don't know. If that's gonna, they're not going to make it. Uh, <laughs> oh. They don't leave the van. Another one would be a shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah, we could have done. We'll do a shrimp for the last one. We can. Okay. Paolo, what's your guess for uh, carrier crab? For carrier crab, um, 21. Uh, 33? 21, 38? 33. Three. 33, okay. 33. Uh, <laughs> for, <laughs> for shrimp, do we have a size limit for the shrimp? No, no just any oh, shrimp. Oh, there's a shrimp one too? Oh That's boy. the next the one. Last one. Yeah. Any shrimp? Yeah. Any 21, shrimp. 23. Okay. 21, 24. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Can we zoom in, Dave? I'll go with 
22. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stuck in the middle. I'm changing mine to 21. <laughs> Who had the crab? Bo! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> no way! Uh, the time is 21.18. Holy moly. No one's close. Uh, if you want to play along, on, there's yeah. Deep Sea Bingo. 21.25, Mike got it. All right. Wow! <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. <laughs> Okay. Sherm's Shrimp, going to be 21.25. 21.25. That's what your crab one guess was. Yeah. It's a good lucky number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike plays the same numbers every week. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about numbers. Are we on to the shrimp now? Shrimp number, yep. And yeah. then the, we're still waiting on the fish. Where'd you put that gummy? Is that stored in your cheek? <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Rude the day. <laughs> Okay, Robert, Paola, what do you it's think for shrimp? Pouch. <laughs> uh, for shrimp? For uh, shrimp, 21, 26. Okay. All in a row there. Robert. Uh, uh, 21, 30. 21, 30. I will take 28. Okay. Guesses are in. <laughs> the gummies await. <laughs> Everybody's looking attentively. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It makes us hyper vigilant. <laughs> right. What is that thing? It's a rock. Bridge nav. Five zero meter zero two five. Is this a ferret? Oh. There's, There's a shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what? what? Twenty one twenty. 212050. Uh, this one is Annie. What? Representing the back row, Annie. <laughs> Let's go. Representing the back Let's row. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 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 time, 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 time. <laughs> Thank you. Let me, I'll just grab one. <laughs> Do we have sponge right Thank you. you. For <laughs> Annie, I just want to say we're all very proud of your achievement. And <laughs> it's you. not only you, it's the community in the back row. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And wow, Megan's even here to document. This is a really big moment. <laughs> is the fish What's our the next last one? one? Is, it, is it fish? Uh, the next fish. one is fish, yeah. I don't even is that the last one? Said. Yeah. It's the yeah. last one, yeah. Oh, actually, no, there are two more. Oh. Okay. Two more? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, we already have fish, so what do we want to do for the next one? Mm. Oh. Sponge. No, too many of those. It's true. Let's do... <laughs> let's do... Same <laughs> house. Hi no. hi. What did you say? Sea <laughs> mouse. Sea We haven't seen a sea mouse in a long time. Yeah, oh we God. haven't seen a sea mouse really in a long time. I'd really love to see time. another sea mouse. How about a polychaete? Pit vipers. Polychaete. No, those are going to be hard, too. How about yeah, uh, oceanic white tip? At the end of the dive? <laughs> <laughs> How about a brittle lounge? star? I'm going to say 21, 22, 39. There's a brittle star right in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> How about a crinoid? We haven't seen a crinoid in a long time. Any, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. What happened to all the crinoids? Crinoid? Is that the... Mm, I don't I think know. there's enough of them. Okay. Boulder? <laughs> Ooh. A boulder. Boulder. Boulder bigger than Herc? Mm, yeah, that that's a good one. do that. We saw some earlier. I think that Kay. we... Yeah. Boulder. What's our, what's our uh, guesses, y'all? Hmm. Mm. I'm going to say end of our watch. I'm going to say 2158. 2158. Actually, I'm going to say 50, 52. We kind of stopped moving. <laughs> 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 I don't think we're going to see one. Okay. <gasps> That's my guess. Can you win with that? Yeah, I don't think you can win with that. Oh. Well, actually, no, you could. As a protest vote? Yeah, at the end if of it, our If it watch. runs out, yeah. I already tried mm -hmm. that. Samantha ruled me out. Well, that's because oh, it's okay, going to be okay. after. 
But if you do it at... Huh? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> the rules are becoming muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Megan is just going to come just back. Just eat the last ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting too complicated. Yeah, they're yours, Samantha. Just eat the last one. You deserve it. I that. say we'll yeah. see one at 21.55. That was 21 my fourth wish to the genie was that Samantha would just eat those gummies. <laughs> this is also great because now it looks like I'm doing a lot of like math work when <laughs> Megan's calling me. <laughs> so what other... Uh, Mollusk more? So... Uh, no. No. Nautilus operations and bookie. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Added. You have a guess for when we're going to see a boulder bigger than Herc? Let's keep it on full zoom the whole way, and then <laughs> look at that one. Is Do you that wanna bigger than Herc? Make a guess for <laughs> fish. Okay. Great. Megan's in. <laughs> Megan's in. All right. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> what do we want for uh, Boulder, folks? Uh, 2145. 2145. 2145. 2200. 2200. Uh, Annie, you gave the same guess as Dave. Oh, you guys are going to oh, have to oh split no. the gummy. Oh, sorry. I was just repeating. Oh, <laughs> oh let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh, I will go with 2140. Look at the C4 yours. is just covered with right. tracks right here. Okay. It would it would be awesome to take like a time lapse of of that happening. Oh, nice. Bruno Star. Hey, just hanging out. Can Wait, do we have a bed on Oh that? my gosh. Oh look, it's it's crawling. Oh, it's oh. Zoom in. Oh, it's more what? It's like, ugh, who <laughs> gave me 20 push-ups? <laughs> it's like 2150. Okay. Uh, oh, it's getting blown away. Oh, one step forward, two steps two back. Two steps back. It's like, it's like walking no in sand. No <laughs> way. Chat is tuning in. Okay, chat. Paolo, what have you got for a boulder bigger than her? Oh, okay, okay. Um... Very nice. Okay, Adam, use your echolocation skills and tell me <laughs> where, where once again. 2150, uh, 2151. Okay, 2151 for Paola. Okay, and Robert. Uh, what's the sonar say? Is it even likely? <laughs> <laughs> sonar says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, if we, we have a 50. Whoa, what's what's another this? one. Oh another my God. Yours. Okay, guesses are in. This Can one is even oh my gosh. more. Oh my gosh, so covered crab. That one has more sun. This is a high rent district. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, Atlanta. Just kicking up all this sediment. Do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the crab? I mean, it gets out of control when they can't even, when it covers their eyes, they can't even see these teenagers. Do you think that, oh, oh. wow. What? <laughs> those zoanthids are moving. Do you think it's the zoanthids or the Highlight. crab that have <laughs> Yeah, good question. I guess it's got to have enough deck space up there for True. more to form. I am impressed how well it moves. Yeah, it's moving really it fast. With the it's a, this is a wind-aided <laughs> oh <my God>. run. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see it in the still right, cam? <laughs> you see it's it like go. moving almost completely I'll vertical. Get one before we go. It looks so dramatic yeah. on the still cam. Oh, look at that. That's so funny. Like, <laughs> oh, look at all that. Um, well, Chad is asking about um, whether, what kind of symbiotic relationship? Is it um, mutual? So the carrier crab is using the zoanthids as a form of uh, protection. Mm. Uh, and 
I guess, sort of like a, a disguise even. You're and right. then the zoanthids are getting this like, this portable habitat and zoanthids are are filter feeders. Yeah, they're filter feeders. And so I guess they're optimizing the amount of, um, the amount of water they can filter. Maybe they're, maybe the crab seeks out you know, kind of higher density food sources than whatever's just floating and kicks up some sediment, maybe. I just don't even understand how they find each other. It's a me cute. Me cute. <laughs> Would they have like a selection process? That maybe like, oh no, I don't uh -huh. know. I don't like this one. How do you even select a zoanthid? Right. Oh. Protoptilum. Oh yeah. Okay. And a bull sorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a big brittle star. Can we zoom on this thing real quick? Zoom in, Dave. Ooh, large Venatula back there. That, I think, is a. Uh, oh. Wait. Boom. Is that alive? Oh yeah, I see it. It's moving. <laughs> is it? Or I see this little it? arm up here, kind of wiggling. Or is it the? Can we move a little bit upwards on the? Or is it because of us? Oh, that kind of looks zoanthidy. That's me. what I was thinking. It looks a little zoanthidy. Can you get closer? Uh, if you can. Zoom out, dude. Can I what? A point again? Mm. <laughs> Without the poke. Hello. <laughs> 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 oh, no. oh, get out of there. <laughs> 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 oh, large euplectelid or crepitellinae? <laughs> Seriously, is There's that a pretty, it looks pretty from no idea to me. Did we have polychaete on our list? No. Oh. Nope. Fish and boulder. Yeah, I think that's like too it looks irregular. A odd. Yeah, densely packed. I think zoanthid. Yeah, zoanthid colonized. Where was our stock. last rock collected? Oh boy, way back in a sec. <laughs> Last rock was collected at 16.40, so around five hours ago. Okay. Well, we are a half hour to the end of our watch, so <laughs> <laughs> the right time. Yeah, I don't like these rocks, so. <laughs> well, let's give it another 25 minutes, Samantha. Yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do that. Just for old time's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shoot, we can pick one out and then have the next watch collect it. That's what we should have been doing. Mm. Uh, Atalanta's directed blast just in front <laughs> of uh, Hercules. I have nowhere near <laughs> him. <laughs> in fact, we are upside down now. <laughs> you're beam, beam forming uh, your, <laughs> your watch. Wow. Uh, nice whoa. One. Bola so much to the left. These look like nice rocks, Adam, don't you think? 
That looks like a candy cone. Oh, a lot they of nice rocks. Like nice random. rocks, but it's like random. where where do they come from? Yeah, mm. random. Randos. Rando. Randos. <laughs> Well, we only have two guesses remaining for the fish. Uh, Dave with 21.37 and Robert with 21.40. I said 21.40. Wait, you said 21.30 for fish. I said 21.30. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> we have it documented over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're on record. Yeah, by an, but is it by an impartial... Uh, <laughs> seems like the front row seems to be winning a lot of these. <laughs> Uh, Annie, Annie was representing. She got yeah, the back row. That's what I would do to throw off suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if nobody wins? Oh, there's a crown on. Oh, 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 we should have oh. Oh. Was there a crinoid contest? That we, oh. we talked we about it. it. Yeah. We yeah. changed it. it. Is that Atlanta upside down? That is Atlanta upside down. Who? Atlanta? Atlanta? <laughs> At Atlanta. <laughs> Wait, upside Look down. Look at this clown from it. <laughs> Are you full upside down? Hmm? Are you full upside down? No. The, no, the camera's no, okay. just pointed back. <laughs> it's oh. like, hold on. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're fine. <laughs> Adelaide is fine. Uh, is fine. <laughs> Adelaide is fine. Argus is fine. <laughs> Adam is here. See things that are fine. <laughs> then Everybody come back. is fine. <laughs> Our mental state is fine. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, Questionable. Speak for yourself. <laughs> At least we are consistently chaotic. Chaos crew. Chaos Let's crew. go. Maybe Megan can take a photo of us. Oh, we should oh, yeah, yeah. Photo. Please. We should do a group photo. Okay, you far enough out front to be happy with the move? Sure, why not? Bridge nav. 5-0 meters, zero two five. Zero two five. That could have been my last ship move. <gasps> oh, oh, this cruise. You know, oh. you can do it all the way back to shore. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> call, it, call it moves for the mapping. 7,000 meters <laughs> at... <laughs> They're like, we know where we're going. <laughs> Please stop calling. <laughs> stop calling. <laughs> Doing 50 meter moves all the way back to Honolulu. <laughs> Hi, just calling again, just to check in. <laughs> also. <laughs> There's a seat you haven't uh, tried out driving the ship. <laughs> we that did, I, true. I did drive. Uh, Atlantis one yeah. time because we were out at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and we lost one of our Z drives. Oh, I heard about this. And yeah. so we had to hand steer all the way back at like six knots or something like that. Oh, It was my like gosh. two weeks of slow driving. And so they, they bribed everyone on the ship to help hand steer a little bit. How long were your shifts? They just wanted, oh, there's another one of those. Uh, they just wanted just like an hour break every now and again. Oh, okay. It wasn't like you're all part of a watch schedule? No. Yeah, that sounds rough. Another one. Should we collect one of these? Um, honestly? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's booking it. Can we catch it? None of the other watches have collected one? No. Nope. You know what? 
Let's go for it. Let's do it. Oh, oh challenge. Okay. Bridge. Challenge. We've seen many of them, and I would call it a novel associate. Hold position. I always really it's right when I put in the 50 meter move. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. We can sense it. it. Oh, it's coming back. It's <laughs> Might use the scoop. Okay, we're going to oh, sample this scoop. chat. No, yeah. <laughs> that suction. Oh, grab. Just kidding. Hello. Thank you for volunteering to uh, come back with us and walking back. Oh, this is exciting. Wow. Have you met this one before? Because it seems to know where it needs to sit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's like, I've got 2142 for getting on the ROV. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> get one of those gummies. What a suction <laughs> jar would you like? I don't think it's oh. a suck. Oh. Oh. He's, uh, he's not going to be very cooperative. Oh, he's climbing onto the porch. What are you talking about? He's coming he's with. Just, he's going to hang out in front of the camera just to make it more of a challenge. It knows, <laughs> it knows where you can't go. He's oh, coming with us. Off the porch. Oh, he's okay. off. Like, maybe... This is a two-person operation. What if you Ooh. used the suction, like, on its back like uh and then lift it and then turn um, the suction off <laughs> steve is saying harder. that the sun they will probably come off easy oh oh my god this is oh epic. This, is, god. this is epic <laughs> <laughs> let's go oh god, come go, on go. Oh. Oh. Ah! <laughs> no sorry <laughs> So the problem is I got it on low grip force. You got to pan till her to tilt. This is really funny in the still camp. Oh, come on back here. <laughs> oh. There oh. it is. Got him. There it is. Holy cow. I can't believe this. Nice. Where is he going? Okay. Uh, Adam? Uh... Let's put him in the front. Put him in the front? Omega. Okay. One second. Let me come forward. Robert, that was, that that was very awesome. impressive. Yeah. Good teamwork. <laughs> Look at the shot I got. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I really like... Um, that's a, hold that's on. awesome. I got to print that one out. Second. This one is my favorite. <laughs> Come on. Go in and then out. Yeah. Oh. Huh. All oh, right, you're trying to tr land. Nice. Trying. <laughs> All right. Uh, not a sample tray. Just go autos. Go. Auto everybody there. All right. Tool tray coming out. What a way to end we the are. watch. I know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The coconut. No, no, no. no. Sea urchin. Urchin. That's not, not the an coconut? Interesting no. no. That's an urchin, yeah. Oh, okay, close the bus. Bye bye. Oh, crab's moving. There, people are next watch. Thanks, crab. Do you have anything floaty? No, but. <laughs> no, <Nope>. Raleigh. <laughs> Sewell tray is all the way in. Thank you, crab and zoanthids, for your contribution to science. We greatly appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a photo of that. That was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got a video though. <laughs> I got some really great photos in the still cam. Wait, That's can you awesome. see that? Oh yeah. Action shot. <laughs> I like this one. It really tells the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ratatouille or something. Going after the, like, the mouse in the around. kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Did you all see that movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once? Uh huh. Oh, I want to see I it. Know. I didn't see it. It was bizarre. It is, but <laughs> Rakakuni <laughs> is my favorite. <laughs> 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 that movie. I did really love that. <laughs> that was great. I forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, do we have time for one more move? Yes, we do. <laughs>
bridge now. A little self-talk up there. Samantha's <laughs> last. <laughs> pumping myself move? up. Uh, you can do it. Okay, Samantha, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go. <laughs> uh, three zero meters, uh, zero two five. Should I write a note for the next watch that they should not open the forward box? I think it's probably okay to yeah. open. Yeah, I don't think you can climb the walls of that. Okay, perfect. Pretty slippery. That's great to know. But if it goes on its back and has the zoanthid climb. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. Oh, we haven't seen boulders. I don't think we're going to see it. Yeah, we don't, we'd probably see it in the sonar if we're going to see it. Does that count? Oh. No, I don't think no. so. Because it could be a pile of small rocks, each one oh, yeah. a little we've bigger than... We've also passed our fish mark, so we just got boulder now. Mm. Are there two left or one? There's two. Oh, so we need to set a new one. Why don't we use the same numbers we use for boulder, but add another... Oh, wait, no, because a lot of people have already missed their bet. No. Yeah, add another one in. Crinoid? How about what's for lunch? Crinoid is good. Close to or carrier Denver. crab. Carrier, carrier crab. crab. Another carrier Let's crab? Carrier crab. Yeah. Okay. What have we got? 2147. 2147. 2150. Oh, okay. 48. 51. 54. 52. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Adam was 51. <laughs> Mike was 48. Annie was 52. 52. Who did I miss? I was 47. 54. 47 <laughs> jewels, 54, Robert. Okay. 55, Steve. 55, you are correct. Dave. Megan. <laughs> Megan's not on comps. Megan, what would be yours? For guessing a crab. For guessing a uh, carrier crab. And 50, what are the available numbers? 50? Uh, five zero is not available. Five five zero five one five, five two five four and five five have been taken. Five zero five one five two <laughs> five five have been taken. You zoom in there. Adam, you're tight. Is there three? Fifty three. Fifty three. I know that's it's hers. I, okay. I put, it's Adam. <laughs> oh, awesome. I'll take forty nine. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. I honestly Are you can't in remember the what, what it is we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking for a boulder bigger than her and a crab. And a crab, yeah. <laughs> Carrier crab. Oh, it's Jules. And I, Megan's going to take a photo of us, coral. hopefully, before she leaves. Oh, from Noah. Thank you. Annie, you want to ask Megan to take a photo of our watch before oh, yeah. she leaves? Oh, yeah, she's gone. She'll be back. She's here. Awesome. How are we taking it? Uh, we we'll probably will use a camera. <laughs> She has the super duper selfie stick. Oh, yes. Big surprise, I have us all sitting for an oil painting <laughs> after watch. Hello, what was the question? Will you take a photo of our watch? Of course I will. <laughs> that was the question. I would be delighted. <laughs> And you're also in the books now for 5-3. Uh, five, 5-3. Three. Five, three. And 41-48 for Boulder, which is not right. looking good. No, sorry. When you least expect it, Boulder. And what is this last one? Oh, the carrier crab again, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Ooh. Ooh. Is that the... Can we zoom? That yeah, might be Carsegorgia. That's what I was thinking. A Carsegorgia. The wispy one here? Yeah, yeah wispy. wispy. Zoom in. <laughs> oh, no. Bamboo. Just kidding. Bamboo. All right. They okay. for real found a coconut. It's an Akinella. Akinella. Yeah. They got a coconut.
might need to cut it on the rock saw. Oh. When's the next rock class? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that this evening. Oh, okay. But awesome. Annie, you don't get to yeah. do it. We I'm there's a, a there's a long line of future. So, uh, future, yeah. It's okay. I got my certificate. I'm happy. I'm happy to cheer everybody on. Should we look at you, Megan? I was gonna say, back row needs to do some like doors and windows so we can see Paula, and then we can like lean. You lean back a little more. You lean back a little more, Annie. You lean back a little more. <laughs> Doors and windows. You guys didn't ever take class photos? All right. Everyone look at the screen like you're doing your jobs. Oh. oh. I thought we were oh. looking at you. We can do one like that okay. too. <laughs> like we're doing our jobs. <laughs> Point. Okay, wait, my job. Wait, wait, gotta, my job is grinding. Yeah, but you got to lean way forward like okay. you're aggressively you writing. I don't have my glasses, so I can be like aggressively trying to see. I'll do, I'm going to do a low point. <laughs> okay, and then or when everything is stable, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> Robert makes the call when. Oh, it gives up on you after a while. Oh, oh. Like Do you want to zoom on that it. or are you just circling it? No, we're, just, just, we're just figuring I'm out just how it okay. So should we all look at Megan for a photo then? Okay, all right. And then we're looking at you now? <laughs> yes, now okay. everyone at me, group photo. Everyone's well. Yeah, your head's around the thing. All right, one, two, three. Dave is cloaked in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> awesome. Video's never in the shot. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Megan. This new you iPhone that. is super <laughs> deluxe. You noticed that, did you? Yes, I did. Akinella. Mm hmm I just learned that one 12 seconds ago. Yeah, it's a good one. It's not too hard to identify. I got time for one more move. Here we go. Bridge, Nev. I would have thought uh, Adam wanted to collect a rock right now. <laughs> <laughs> two zero meters, zero two five. Or at least a push core. Oh. oh. Don't tempt him. No. But we uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually want a push core right now? No. This okay. is, this, the push core is going to go in about an inch. Okay. Just making sure. But did you want a rock? Weren't you talking about one? Yeah, but I don't want these rocks. Well, <laughs> can't I'll help you there. We'll get the next watch to get one at the top of this as we get closer to the top. I feel like if we zoom in close enough, we'll see a crinoid. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Polish. a protoptilum? We're not looking for crinoids, though. Um, oh, sure. Crabs and boulders. Crabs and boulders. Hmm. That looks like that hoodie one that we used to see. Which one? Polyopagon? Oh, Polyopagon. I don't know that it's that. Zoom in, Dave. It looks like some sort of euplectelid. Oh, right. We just had a top-down view of it. Yeah. That's the one wow, with that's the... so... So stringy. Stringy, yeah. Cup coral underneath. Yep, there. It's an interesting one. Um, it's maybe Regadrella? Oh. Yeah, Regadrella. I'm with you. I have there. a little shrimp in there living in my crevice. Oh. What's the What's the one that the Japanese weddings? They like the oh, it's a sponge that mm -hmm. like there's two shrimp inside and yeah, it's given us a traps trip. in there. Yeah, yeah. chat boulder like as big as Hercules. Yeah, it's a marriage thing. Uh -huh. No, I mean That's it's a wedding band. gift, like a yeah. sponge with the two shrimp in there. I don't, I don't remember the story, but yeah, you're trapped in there for life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Euplectella <laughs> aspergillum is the wedding sponge. Hmm. How do oh. they get them? Good carefully. Yeah. And then what do they do? Dry them? That's weird. That's a weird gift. Is it? Is this a coral here that we want to zoom on? 
Which uh, sure. Which it? Yeah. The whip? The whip. Zoom in, Dave. So yeah, if we start 3D printing sponges, it's a primnoid whip. We can offer a less impactful way for to give that wedding gift. Huh. Looks like there's a little stock there too. Hmm. Steve says Norella. I thought Norellas had more arms. Uh, not necessarily. Oh. Unbranched. So unbranched. Yeah. So confusing. So confusing. Primnoids are so hard. I don't even try to go past family now. Gosh, I think we're past all our uh, all our numbers, huh? Uh, negative. We've got. Oh, actually, we are for crab. Oh no, uh, Dave has twenty-one fifty-five. And for Boulder, we've got some late hour guesses. 2157 for Robert, 2155 for Mike. Oh, it's now 2200 for Jules. All right, let's sit down here and just knock on the crab. <laughs> <laughs> let's go crab. Is that a crab? Trump. Uh, shrimp. 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 How do we know it's not a crab with a shrimp on its back? <laughs> oh. Crab Daddy needs a gummy. <laughs> <laughs> does that look like an alligator head? Oh, oh it kind of does. does, yeah. Oh, Cheyenne oh, wow. breaking the streak. Oh. That's not Cheyenne. I know, but, <laughs> well, but she's, she's usually the first one. She's the oh, first she's one. Oh, she's always the first year. one. Bye. Is she here? <laughs> Oh, is, what is that? Is that a skate? Oh, is that all? Oh, oh bad bat fish. Oh, oh, bat bat fish. fish. Great way to end. Uh, oh, wow. Zoom in. Nice. Hi, Luby. <laughs> We're all hopped up on candy. Yeah, oh, this is the perfect way yeah. to yeah. end the watch. watch. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. I'm going to read our last data logging. Okay. 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 If you want to read it, Adam, you have to oh, okay. the lecturer's voice. All right. Uh, Wait, is that a boulder okay, the size is. of Hercules okay. up ahead? Cool. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> All right, folks. Okay. As the magnificent Cirque du Soleil finishes their final okay. show and awesome. dwells into greatness, Chaos Crew signs out video. until next time, <laughs> holding position <laughs> for watch. Oh, yes. what? <laughs> Boom. We are holding That's position. That's awesome. Yeah, wow. Check, check. I guess it could be during dinner release. Check it off the list, people. You're done. Uh, what are we checking off? Um, Look at I the... Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Um, Badfish check. You don't need and for yeah. all of our folks tuning in, and for everyone who's just joined okay, us, um, we are currently exploring the deep southern flank and summit of Gio 10. Our estimated dive duration is about 24 hours, max depth 24, 40 meters. Um, this is our last dive. This is 8 to 12's last watch. Um, thank you so much for um, being with us and for exploring with us this entire cruise. It's been an honor. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun chat. I really had a good time reading your comments and your questions and relaying, relaying your questions to the team. Thanks so much for um, tuning in and for um, for being involved. Um, Thanks so much for everything. Don't forget to uh, uh, check out nautiluslive.org for our awesome highlights. Our team just posted up our whale fossil highlights, so check that out. Thanks so much, chat. Um, have a great day, afternoon, and night from wherever you are tuning in. For the last time, um, till next time, 8 to 12, signing out. Jules, don't leave. I was like, I mean, we should just like squish you all right here for another photo because it's suspect at best on the other one. Yeah, I th no, I think you should all just squish right here. We can also take one outside if you want. But.
Yes, actually that's ideal. You know? Okay. Uh, Can you explain? To some extent. Do there is a coconut that apparently they saw on the on the deep on this dive. What? And they sampled it. So we <laughs> oh. have it on board. So hopefully we will really? we will <laughs> yeah, we'll be That's able to recover. So interesting. Um I'll give you the description. Let's see. Okay. What? This looks I didn't like know a that. Primnoid to me. What are we looking at? A primnoid? Primnoid. I believe. Yeah. Okay. The description is coconut, um, and then interrogation mark. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, around 30 centimeters, would fall with possible bio on top. Wow. wow. Okay, so there might be animals of inside it that are of interest. Ooh. Or not inside the coconut, but inside the like husk of the coconut. Is that the idea? Yep, I think that okay. is. Okay. If it was classified as a wood fall. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, this is for you, Paula, again. Um, yeah. So when you are logging in the data for an organism, what information do you include beyond the scientific name? Depth, oh. the water, temperature, longitude, latitude, anything That's like specific? That's a great question. Yeah, when I'm logging data, usually the first things I try to note is the size of the organism, the coloration, and anything that... Um, me or the scientists think is very unique about that particular sighting. And as soon as I make that observation, the the C log program that we use to make the annotations, it captures the oxygen concentration, latitude, longitude of the oh sighting, wow. the depth, the temperature, salinity, sound velocity, yeah. all, all of those CTD values <laughs> and oceanography. So we actually, at the MCC, we use all of that data that is being uploaded by our lovely folks like Paula um, and all that uh, CTD data. Uh, that is all being added to MCZ base along with the images of the specimens. Um, and then folks like Steve Oskovich uh, will come to the museum and they will take samples for DNA analysis and they will also narrow down identifications for us, which sometimes we can't do. Um, just in situ, sometimes you need to look at things in person and even under a microscope because corals are um, not identifiable by color um, alone. But um, I mean, we can get a general idea, but a lot of the time you have to look at sclerites and polyps up close. That's very interesting, like knowing what the steps of post dive processing yeah. looks like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've seen like all aspects of this now. I started off with annotating um, deep sea footage from a dive. Um, and then I was working at the museum where I was like handling specimens once they return to shore. And now I'm here and I have a say in what we're sampling and that's really neat. <laughs> So that is exciting. Yeah, it's really cool to see the different sides of it. Oh, and then what happens to sampled organisms once they're brought up to the surface? Um, so they're either dried out. So we have some dry specimens or rocks, for example, are just um, they are put into bags or left in trays. Um, everything is described, like Paula said, and um, added to a, a spreadsheet. Um, everything is imaged and uh, identified more specifically in person. Um, and then samples, biological samples, are preserved in 95% ethanol most of the time. Um, some things are preserved in formalin if uh, we're particularly, particularly interested in uh, preserving the morphology of the organism. Um, 
we filter the eDNA samples. Bamboo? Uh, bamboo, yeah. Yeah, and then um, a lot of the rocks are sent to URI. A lot of the biological samples are sent to the Museum of Comparative Zoology. And then others are, are sent to researchers who have requested them. Speaking of researchers, um, so we have viewers inter interested in uh, Steve. Can you um, spell out his name? We viewers want to check out his work. What was that? Steve's name? Yeah, Oscovich? Um, Steve Oskovich. Um, A U S C A V I T C H. Oh boy, we've had oh an Adam. Oh boy, <laughs> <I'm sitting. laughs> let's go. Let's Guess go. what, chat? Couldn't stay away. Guess what? <laughs> Adam <awake>. has returned. <laughs> See, we told you it's he he's okay. To his, uh, <laughs> 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 Here is the life project. Yes. Yes. Welcome back. Nice of you to join us. <laughs> You've missed a lot. A yeah. lot, a lot. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's happened? I actually couldn't even begin to describe what we've seen. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Adam, how's Argus? Rocks. Uh, boy. <laughs> We were both, it was like, we were both in this weird land. <laughs> <laughs> and Argus said, don't go, don't go to the light. And I said, okay, fine. And then I came on to watch. But Argus is okay. Argus uh, yeah. is okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just, um, Chad is not really, Chad didn't believe that Argus was okay, so they kept tuning in. <laughs> but is Argus okay? Sponge. sponge skeleton? Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. It's been a great deal more quiet. Oh, uh, well, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, it was noted in the log that there was a lot <laughs> less talking. Because <laughs> <it was> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so that when future researchers review this footage, they'll know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know why. <laughs> yes. Chat, our viewers online are very happy that you returned. Oh, that's that nice. You're back. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, and then question. Do you guys feel that deep sea exploration does not get the attention it deserves compared to space exploration? Uh, what are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Bridge, Nav. Sorry, what was that? Um, do you guys feel that deep sea exploration doesn't get the attention five zero it deserves zero two five. compared to space exploration? I feel that it's a shame if we didn't finish exploring our planet first and um. so forth. I do think it could be higher priority. I mean, <laughs> I am, we are all biased. Yeah. Um, being marine scientists, but um, yeah, absolutely. I think that, um, I mean, it's, it's great to see folks getting excited about it and um, people learning more about the deep sea. Um, I yeah, think I mean people think about like, like shallow water ecosystems and a lot of the time, um, the deep sea is sort of overlooked. So. Wow, what's this one? That is Akinella. Nice. It's a bamboo coral. There's a huge difference in the uh, kind of allocation of resources to these various activities. Um, but you know, part of the reason that space exploration has been so successful, successful in that is there's so much spin-off technology that comes out of space exploration, um, you know, like commercially important technology. And but I think we could do the same in in ocean exploration as well. Right. But I agree with the sentiment sentiment that you know we don't have to go that far to find a new world to explore. It's right right here at the right. bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of overlap in the technology being developed. I mean, look at the work that Pablo is doing um, with his Raman spectrometer. Um, you know, he's testing it in the deep sea um, to hopefully, you know, be applied to, to other planets. So we can learn a lot about other planets just from the deep sea. You know, there's a, 
the first research submarines um, were developed by this guy, uh, what's his name, Auguste Picard. And he started by developing research like balloons, you know, going way up into the upper atmosphere. Oh, okay, okay. And he had, you know, been thinking about keeping the pressure in because you go up to very low pressure and he's like, hey, what if we, you know, if we turn this around, it's the same thing. We just keep the pressure out. And that's how those uh, bathyscaph, those like little uh, human occupied ball with this giant reservoir of diesel fuel above it, the first um, vehicles to go down to the Mariana Trench and all Trieste. that kind of stuff. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, so I think there is some analogs, you know, thinking about a very harsh environment of space and a harsh environment of, of the, the ocean. Yeah, I mean, part of why I love microbiology is, or microbial biology, is we can learn so much about the fundamentals of life just by studying microbes, something that we may not think about very much in our day-to-day -day life. Um, you know, you think of marine biology, you think of like sharks and coral reefs and, um, but there's this whole world that we don't see that is driving the rest of the world. You know, it's where we came from. Yeah, there's... It's what converts energy. There's, uh, and we have, you know, colleagues who, you know, getting smaller and smaller, looking at like viruses in the deep sea and, and viruses don't just infect you know people and animals they infect bacteria as well mm -hmm. you know super cool really cool paper uh, published in the Rochin lab uh, by Anna Gauthier who is studying um, bacteria deep sea bacteria and also like uh, I guess shallow water bacteria and viruses and the ability of um, bacteria to uh, recognize viruses from the deep sea. Oh, and have like uh, immune response or something? Mm -hmm. Hey, Samantha, wh what Hello. is that space without contours on their map? Yeah, this has actually been blocked out. It's um, Potentially an alien base. Oh, oh sweet. Well, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah. <'cause> we're not <laughs> supposed to. <laughs> but he's right after waypoint five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was just talking to Deb about it. Um, it's probably a gap in the NCIA data which she made the contours from. Ah. Sorry. No, that was exciting. That's what she is supposed to, to say. say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we do get a lot of people, though, you know, writing in, um, asking, you know, sending in the screenshots of Google Earth with, you know, interesting tracks they've seen on the seafloor, um, interesting shapes, and it's usually artifacts from mapping data when data gets uploaded to models like that. Um, if uh, you know, one, one, one piece of the puzzle is that we haven't mapped the whole seafloor yet, and so there are gaps between the, the lines of high-resolution mapping data. And so when you do see lines in the kind of seafloor view of Google Earth, um, it's usually just areas that haven't been fully mapped yet, or kind of areas that have been maybe gridded and striped, or, you know, uh, covered in stripes or grids. Um, so those are, those are some of the things you might see. Um, they are not structures on the seafloor from past civilizations. Um, for for the most part, <laughs> but it is interesting what people, uh, how how human brains will process information like that. Even down here, you know, we'll be mm. obviously going along. Sometimes see see things that look like they may be more complex than they are. More complex than a shadow. Can we zoom in on that shadow? <laughs> <laughs> 
in circle with There's that one watch. I think we were really tired and really bored, and we started zooming in on, Oh, like, yeah, on everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. Shadows. Oh, my gosh. For science. For science. Science For research. Science. Um, I want to backtrack and correct myself on um, Anna's research. Uh, they were looking at the...